So I was playing in a traveling dart league <laughs> and this bar. And um, it, was a, it was this little bar in St. Louis that was close to where a lot of my buddies and I, we all worked. And so one night she was there doing paperwork at the end of the bar, drinking a beer, and I, she caught my eye. <laughs> one thing led to another, and here we are. Yep. All right? Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> we were married in October of 2000, so it will be 22 years this year. So we had two dogs. So we'd feed them in the morning, feed them at night. And he'd say, so Steve, did you feed the dogs? And I'd say, yes, I fed the dogs. And about two or three minutes later, she'd say, did you feed the dogs? Say yes, I fed the dogs. And two or three minutes later, she's in there filling up their dog bowls. She would have a hard time finishing a task. Doors don't get closed. Things that, you know, that you would expect to happen. Refrigerator, car doors, things like that. That just wasn't normal. And that's what kind of rose the, you know, the question that maybe we ought to go get this checked out. So we went to a regular doctor, <clears throat> and then he uh, basically referred us to a neurologist who went through every scan known to man. In January is when he gave us the results. And it's like, you know, I was kind of prepared for it, but it's kind of like, are you really prepared? To, you know, like, you know, like, um, but the most amazing thing that happened that day Jody was there, and he stepped out, and she stepped in. That's how relationship started with the Alzheimer's Association. I mean, I would have been completely lost. It's a fun place. Let's go the opposite way now. It's, you know, and it's, I feel sorry for anybody that just um, has my disease, obviously. But um, when you go there, they help you and keep you busy. And as much as you can get busy, makes it so that it makes things easier. Pointy brush and flat brush for the big spaces. So that's one of your most recent masterpieces, I think. Yep, and um, it's a water. It's a painting of trees. Okay. This is a, this was a boo boo, okay? Because <laughs> um, I was supposed to paint a flower on here, and we were doing um, paper mache. Paper mache, and I was doing. I got all so excited, and I was getting it all going. And um, then I got done. It was wrong side up. So she, <laughs> so she, That's my scary bunny. <laughs> so Amy would, you know, when I ask her, how was your day? And she'd say, oh, I had a great right. day. And I'd say, well, what did you do? And she'd say, I can't remember. I don't know. With her. <laughs> and then they'd send this one home one day. And I just thought it was just pretty cool. This is a 2003 Ford Mustang convertible and I decided to make a tribute to the Alzheimer's Association. So all of the things that have been added to this, there's some meaning behind it. I, don't know, I, I try to keep a real positive attitude towards everything. I mean, I try not to think that this is the end of the world. and. Um, and I go about that, go about it that way as much as I possibly can. And and when Amy and I are together, and you know, she may say this to you somewhere down the road. But I mean, one of the things that she says to me all the time, she says, "You know, I know I'm a handful." <laughs> she says it all the time. It's, it's not your fault. It's not you. It's the disease. And I think that 
people have to. Can I tell myself that all the time? And I tell other people, I said, it's not her. No matter what she does, this is not her. It's the disease that's causing this. And then you don't get mad at her. I get mad at the disease. If a person hasn't spent time with a family or someone that's going through this, they just don't, I just don't think they will get it. I can send pictures all day long and say, she don't look sick. No, she doesn't look sick. And you know what? She really isn't sick. It's a healthy 59 year old woman with the exception of early onset Alzheimer's, that if you were to, you know, a year ago, you, you could, we could have gone out to dinner and you wouldn't have detected anything. I can't say that today. Today, I mean, it's more, I mean, you would, you could spend time now, shorter period of time, and see things that may seem a little off, like what I may have seen a few years ago. But you really have to live in that house for at least 24 hours to gain a true appreciation of what really, what it's really all about. It's hard to actually put it down on paper or to explain because it happens every minute of the day something happens or isn't quite right. We've all given money for certain causes over the years for certain things. And for me, it was like, what happens to the money? Where does it go? Does it really help people? And I will tell you, We're living proof that, that the money goes to help families like us.